recording. It's resonating. There we go, we took our swimming lessons. Welcome back to Cassette Beast. This is part seven. I actually felt like playing a little more today now that I've got the time to. So we're gonna finish up what we were doing in that area where we got the magnet Pokemon. I mean, <laughs> the magnet Cassette Beast. I keep, I keep, I keep slipping. No, wait, not the magnet guy. I'm supposed to talk to that new guy we met. I know there was an... I'm telling you! Oh. Oh, this is something else. I'm telling you, boss. This new trainee knows how to handle themselves. Me and the boys were proper impressed. I was absolutely flattened in our fight. <laughs> it's rare to hear you so impressed by a trainee's performance, Wallace. Well, well it's not often that we do combat trials for the trainees. My usual build-a-brick wall test isn't quite as exciting to sit through. Speaking of which, when my lunch break is over, I've got work to do. See you later, boss. Just saying hi. Oh, okay. Did I catch what you wanted? Greetings! Oh, no, not yet. Okay. I told this monster wearing diving gear that grants you the ability to swim in any waters if you record it. Ooh. I'm getting all those HMs, but first, before I get distracted, I gotta talk to that guy. And I know there was some houses up here that were pretty empty at the time. I know there was someone, someone up here who had an empty house. Is this it? This is not quite it, but I should still check. We usually cook for the we usually cook for the townsfolk here, but we haven't received ingredients from the farm west of here for a while. I wonder what's going on. No time to chat. I have an order of pastries. So There's a farm to the west. I guess I should check that at some point as well. Hello. Is this the house? This is not the house. It's the astral house. Hello. Not quite. Is this person on the west-west side of town? All the way over there? Okay, that... You can't necessarily sprint and jump. This guy was pretty early on, though, so I can't imagine him... Did I miss a really obvious house? Slutterbox. Oh. Wait, is this my... Oh, right, I forgot I had a home. I completely forgot I had a home. And there's no, there's no way. Am, am I really missing this person's house? Repeatedly? the quest log. Don't you want me? Oh, so it is West Harbor Town. Okay. Thirst a ton lake? Sure. Mm hmm.
Yeah, there we are. And we've made it to the West Town. Not quite. Wait. What traffic crap is this? Don't worry about the traffic cab. That's just my son. He loves playing with his bootleg tape. Yeah, have you ever seen a monster in your travels that isn't its normal color? That's a bootleg. And don't confuse it with the coating. Bootleg monsters permanently have different colors, different elemental types, and different moves from usual. When you record them, they keep those attributes. Recorded bootlegs have a higher rate of producing uncommon and rare moves, so they can be very useful. Here, why don't you take this and see for yourself? Captain Cody gives me his spare, so I have plenty already. A stony bootleg. Oh. Interesting. So there can be different color beasts out there. Mm. I should try and make sure. Oh, geez. I hope I haven't missed any. I need to make sure I don't miss any of these of these bootlegs. It should be obvious, but they can appear anywhere at random, but apparently they're more often seen in fusions. I heard some very rare bootleg monsters sparkle and shine as if they're covered in glitter. Okay, good. There's a, a way of showing me that the cassette beast is a different colored cassette beast. <gasps> mm, I miss city life, commuting on hot trains, buying expensive lunch from a supermarket, and losing most of my wages to rent. Those truly were the days. <sighs> Isn't that real? Chemist store. Okay, well, I still should check that then. Elemental chemistry is the key to success in combat. I designed stickers that give you the control of chemistry and the advantage in battle. Oh, ooh, a lot of type changing things. So you can automatically change your type right at the start. Hmm. Well, that's cool. Hmm. I will, I will be back. I will be back because being able to change, you can only change an, oh, uh, you can only change an allies type. You can only change an allies type, a user or an ally. You can't just make an enemy a type because I was thinking there could be a way to turn someone into glass or metal for the resonant spam but that probably would be way too cheap. Okay, who's... Hey. Who? Great-grandfather is one of the sailors who was shipwrecked on New Weirville over a hundred years ago. He'd be proud to see what we've made of this place. Hello! So it's, a uh, Oh, it's history of the town. Well, <laughs> before I get sidetracked, I get very, very distracted very, very easily. So I gotta find that guy first. And then I can enjoy looking at West Harbor Town. Oh, I see what's going on. Why was this bridge lifted? Well, the lore reason why. Uh, Were they fighting? Oh, that's Eugene's... What? Okay, so Eugene was here, so who lifted the bridge? That's weird. But you never expect to see someone as famous as me here. Wait, you don't recognize me? No, I really don't. This is an apartment? Hello. Pardon me, but are you involved with the rangers? Yep. Uh, well, as a fellow ranger, I'm a trainee at least. Perhaps you can lend me a hand? I've got some plant saplings growing by the pipers over on their farm. There for printing up the town. However, I'm not great at decision making. Which plants would look best is too much. Would you help a fellow ranger out and put some saplings in the planters I've left around town? Thanks. Sure. 14 planters placed around town. Let me know when you filled them all. Sure, that's great. But what I really want is. Oh, did these count? Oh. Yes, they can. Do I have a certain... Do I have a limit? Oh, 
Ah, there you are. Felix. Hey. Hey, you came to hang out. Want to see what I rescued from the sad remains of my old place? Sure. So in my regular life, I was a Zote artist. Or Zote artist? Hmm. It's easier to show. Check this out. It's This is a Zote reel. You, or Zote reel. You slot it into this Zote, Zoetrope right here and then look through the slot. Arrête toi. The Zotwa has a motor in it, so when I hit this button, it spins. I mean, Zotrope has a Zoetrope has a motor in it, so when I hit this button, it spins. The row of Zot strip has the same image drawn over and over with variations. <laughs> when spun around, it animates and comes to life, right? And then you can pull the lever to switch to the next row for the next part of the story. You can tell a whole story and bring it to life just with drawings. I've been obsessed with Zotes ever since I was a kid. They used to be very popular, though they've kind of fallen out of fashion. It's more of a niche medium now, at least where I am from it, I mean. Most Zote stories are about heroes in the French Revolution, like the Scarlet Pim Pimpernel. But ever since the big budget movie adaptations really took off, there's less interest in the source material. I got into these stories as a kid and couldn't shake my love for them. That's why I'm an artist now. Hmm. Right now I'm trying to come up with some new characters, and it turns out an island full of weird monsters is the perfect place to find inspiration. Which means you might be able to help me out. I'm searching for a particular creature, and I want to get a good look at one. I know you can find it in the Cherry Meadow. It's a warrior with a wooden sword. Can you help me out here? Sure. <laughs> cool, I'll mark it on your map for you. Uh, fight a warrior with a wooden sword in the cherry meadow alongside Felix. Well, look at that. So it actually is a party member. Brush room. No, oh, we get another grass plant. Plant monster. Brush rooms are keen artists and paint using the strange pigments that ooze from their heads. It has been observed that they're able to change the physical properties of an object they paint over depending on the color they use. Ooh. So do we get a... Oh, smack. Plastic coating. Changes the type of a user or an ally. Paint swipe. Can only be used if the user has an, uh, a coating active. Hits one target, then transfers the coating onto the target. Always goes last. So I can change my type. I could change someone's type to grass. Plant. I can change someone's type to plant. Or I can make myself plastic and then make them plastic if this changes. I think these these moves are moves that would normally be typeless but match my type, the user's type. Okay, I need to test that really quickly because I have I have a disgusting idea, but I need confirmation. Perfect. Okay. So. So if I turn myself into a plastic type... Yeah, sure, plastic one. Now... Just provoke again to stall. Yeah! Paint swipe changes type! Okay, so these are typeless, and they'll change to match my type. Oh, this is good. This is good info. This is such good info. I'm so excited.
Okay. Oh, wait, what was that move? I mashed through it by accident. Elemental wall. Okay. So. Those alchemist people. They were in... This house? What are you doing here? A lot of newcomers in town go through a different peer difficult period. If I had any advice for you, it would be to embrace your life here. It doesn't mean you should forget the life you used to have, though. You're just as much your past as you are your future, you know? That's great. Okay, perfect. Chemist, help me. Because what I want... Changes the type of the user automatically used at start a battle. I was gonna go with metal, because then it would make me defensive. And then I'd be able to copper chop on the opposite. But then that relies on having copper chop. But I do remember that in my comments for like po Pokemon type effectiveness, actual Pokemon type effectiveness, someone was mentioning air also did resonance with glass. So maybe painting something as glass Especially since the metal in this game doesn't seem as... It's not like Pokemon where metal just resists stuff. Metal just has interactions. Uh, but glass... Stickers can be taken off anyway, so it doesn't matter. And I could always come back if I want more. So... What we're gonna do is... Check tape, and then edit stickers so yeah I'll apply a sticker hmm. oh so some stuff is compatible some things aren't okay well that makes sense not everything can just be on there so the sticker Okay, and stickers can be peeled off and put back on. So, this should automatically change my type. Because cause now, because now, uh, all right, here's the plan. Because Decibel, Decibel automatically, at the start, gets multi-target, meaning that my moves split. And so, I can spam spit for zero, a basically no AP and keep hitting everything with air. Then I have my mushroom guy here. Turn everyone into glass so that I just get the resonance to knock them out in three turns. So if I get to a tough enemy, assuming it's probably not a boss because that most RPGs try and make sure you cannot just insta-kill bosses or, or give them resistance to status or, or things like that. But if I come across tough fusions, I could possibly do that to instantly defeat them. But I need to... Ooh, there's a tough fusion right there. But let me test it on... Let me test it on the crab. Okay. So, automatic multi-target. Automatic glass. This is already looking good. We will provoke, because I want to be able to test this. Then, paint swipe is now a glass move. Okay, perfect, yeah, slow everyone down, it doesn't matter. This goes last anyway. Okay, it, it turns them into glass. That that already works. There's a trainer right here that I could test on further. I came here because I heard there's a bank, but all I see is a river. That's how cute. A river bank. Okay, so echolocation. Automatic glass camouflage. Oh. 
Oh, the air wall spreads too. That's multi-target. That's good to know. That's going to be so good defensively. Okay, so you are glass. And then... Oh, after I paint swipe... It transfers the... Okay, it transfers the coating. So I actually have to manually make myself glass. I don't stay glass the whole time. Well, that's kind of good to know. Okay, then instead, what I'll actually need to do is test using... Yes, the resonance does work. Very good. Ooh, resonance one out of three. Loud sounds and air type attacks can cause glass type targets to resonate and start vibrating. If the resonance becomes strong enough, it can cause the glass to break. Oh, you're done. All right, that's fine. There we go. This mushroom is awesome. <laughs> Maybe I'll find a revenue stream. Oh, I cannot wait to try this out. It could be a total wash, but it could also be really, really great. But first, as usual, I do need to heal up before I attempt to before I attempt to fight that fusion. Yeah, we'll take a quick break. We'll rest. Hmm. Maybe there's some good lessons to be learned from life in Arbor Town. I mean, it's not exactly a bustling nightlife, but the whole town relies on each other, so no one's really left behind. There's enough food to go around, but not so much that anything goes to waste. It's cut off from human civilization, but still manages to get by. It's pretty impressive when you think about it. If you ever get stuck, try asking around town. Someone might know a path. Okay. What? Oh, there's a loading screen. That makes sense. Wait, what? Oh, it only shows up in certain weather. Okay. That's a shame. Well, uh, knowing what I know now, that kind of messes with my plans a little. Okay. What? Oh, thought I landed right on it. Do I have to do that every time? I will need that rock, though, because that rock is going to help me get everywhere. I love rocks. Have I already pulled this lever? Perfect. Hello. Uh, Pupper Cabra? Yeah, that should be fine. Is 
So we'll set up the spread wall and then we will do pink swipe on you. Oof. Brittle glass types are easily shattered by the hard metal type attacks. This scatters sharp obstacles across the battlefield. While it's in effect, any characters that use a melee attack will take damage from the glass shards of the battlefield. Oh, so they have to run across the glass. Like a bull in a china shop, landing beast type attacks <laughs> on a glass type opponent scatters sharp obstacles across the battlefield. So does it double up because both they're both attack types? Glass shards. Oh boy. That's damage. Well, now you're a glass type. Okay. Now we can just, now we can just spam it. Let's go. Ooh, I know water coating. Hmm. It makes sense to make myself water rather than air so I don't get uprooted. Yeah, just keep spitting. Hmm. Can only be used if the user has a coating active. Do I have any ranged attacks? I don't want <laughs> I don't want to go over there. Suppose I could just make a wall. I'm a fool. I changed it to a... Oh no, I put a water wall. I did not change it into a water type. I got really concerned I did something stupid just there. Um... I'm just gonna make myself a water type again. I don't wanna... take more damage. Wait, why did it not resonance? Wasn't it supposed to? Something's... check tape. Uh, something doesn't seem right. So only, I guess it didn't last long enough. I might need more air types to get the resonance off. What did I do wrong? I guess I'll have to look through the footage to see what I did wrong. Maybe that isn't as broken as I thought it was. I thought I had something going there. That's fine. Oh, why is it still alive? Oh! Be gone. 
Okay, we, we, we almost, we almost did it. Almost did it. Okay, well, there is a campfire in that direction because I have been in that direction before. Interesting, there's ramps here too. I'm doing quite a lot here. Okay, I guess this one's too high for me to use my cheese strategy. Hey, maybe you won't notice. You didn't notice. AP refund. Oh, a chance to automatically refund AP after a move is used. That could be useful for very expensive moves. Ah, just what I needed, the campfire. Muses about food, he's unable to acquire a new Wirral. Like what food? What are your favorite foods? No, the rock! My precious stone. Are we close to the area? Oh, almost. He could take that bridge and then get the ability to swim. That's where we got dove by a moth guy. I see it. There's a cassette piece down there. Are you perhaps them? Diveal. Get our air wall going. We'll get our paint swipe going. Oh, they can coat you in ice. Well, that doesn't matter because you're glass now. All right, let's get recording immediately. Resonating. There we go, we took our swimming lessons. Diveal's helmet lee heads not only the Diveal's helmet heads not only allow them to breathe in water, but contain an air pocket that helps them float in water. Whereas they are very mobile in lands and seas, they're a bit slower on land. Can turn you into an ice type. Okay. You can have swim in water. This consumes your stamina. Yeah, we'll just finish it off. That's that's it, I guess. Sapped. Oh, we sap and leech the strength of water type targets. So auto, automatic leech seed. Oh, okay, that's ice coverage. All right, I did not realize he had that. 
I probably should have recorded that one if I had known. Poison Pollen gives the target poison stats for three turns. There we go, some status moves are good. Oh, I see, I will need a stone. Or something heavy. Just need this box. Oh, come now. Surely you can weigh down the switch. The box is too light for it? What? This doesn't make sense. the box not heavy enough it's a box okay well there there is a where there's a will there's a way I was gonna say oh good I can leave yeah that doesn't that that doesn't check out I need to find a rock of sorts Wait, are you something with the wooden sword or? Ah, here we go. A stone is what I need. This should be heavy enough. not heavy enough. Hmm. Is this not the right one? Okay, maybe this is more of a puzzle than... smack moves. There's a lot of fusions here. Jeez. <sighs> so what about this one? No, get away from me. This doesn't count either. What a what an odd puzzle. not quite it either. Are you a train? Oh, that's a trainer. Okay. Well, I don't want to bother with you, trainer. Wait, have I come full... S oh, wow. So that's what was down here. I could have walked down here at any point. I probably did and then realized I couldn't swim. Well, who are you? What is this? I'm doing important research. You get out of my way.
I should definitely get another air type in the team to really stack that resonance really fast. Resonance 3 out of 3. Cool. Weave the light. Now I know what the... Now I know what the other one could have done. Interesting. Jeez. Let's paint swipe you into water. We'll just smack you. Yep, there it goes. Okay, so are you the crab specialist, miss? Gives contact damage stats for three turns. Oh, cool. What, what is your deal? Don't you think these traffic crab statues look a bit strange? Yeah, they do. They definitely do. I'm just not sure what these are supposed to do here with this puzzle. I'm missing something. Yikes. Okay, I can't go that way. Nope. Not that one. There's no, every time I see an extra switch, I get really scared that I'm going to have to memorize or figure out the perfect order or pattern of these. And I really don't like the idea of that. I really don't. Oh, okay. Okay. I can't. I can't do that. Oh, please don't let me drown here. Yikes. ocean of stuff. Let me out. Let me out. Let me Why is it putting me there? The, ma the magnet dunked me. That's not my fault. The magnet pushed me underwater. Hello. What are th these?
healing leaf. Yes, I have been energized. And we can make a nice elemental wall to protect this plant. And just start smacking. Okay, never mind. That's a that's a KO there. you and then we will paint swipe the more dangerous one oh spread target healing i'm really i guess not keeping in mind the applications of spread like <sighs> conductive attacks jeez I can hit both of them. Hmm. Ethel, yep, we know how that works. with yeah keep energizing me buddy energizing and healing me Don't aim for the mushroom. Perfect. Oops. Oh, wait. I didn't get to... Oh, I'm a fool. I was supposed to set up... Yeah, that was foolish of me. That, that was actually kind of silly of me. Because what I should have been doing is doing damage and then recording. recording oh no <laughs> that wall is interfering with my capture Try and catch it again. 
No, my wall went away. Oh, man, I thought it stayed until the end of the turn. Yeah, okay. My I really need to work on my timing. here because I feel like we're gonna whiff on that okay that's gone feeling that sunk cost. Like, I have to catch something. Oh, is this another of all uh, remastered thing? Okay, I got it. What is this? Is this just a pad pole's mature state? Okay, so there's apparently a smaller one. Uh, the frilly pad's limbs allow it to hunt for food. They can often be found hiding by the edges of ponds and lakes. If someone or something passes by that frilly pad deem that the frilly pad deems edible, it will attempt to ensnare it with its long tongue. Yeah, these are definitely stronger middle form things. Type attacks corrode or cause to rust metal type targets, which makes them brittle. Oh, jeez, it burns me too. Oh, the boiled water probably has a chance to burn. Okay, <laughs> jeez, look at all these, look at all these, so many debuffs. Okay, our team is not doing very well due to. Well, d to be honest, due to being pineappled over there. Because what even happened here? Like, this this thing didn't even magnetize me properly. I could have just swam around here and avoided drowning in time. Please let me up there. So... Yeah, why didn't that bring me out of the water? <laughs> How annoying. No, 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 no. Thank you. Can't get me. Behind the town. Okay.
Can't quite make it. I'm loading the rest of the world. What is in that air? I did that by accident. <laughs> May as well see what it is. Thirst a ton light caves. That looks like... Okay, this looks like a dungeon I am not equipped to deal with. Hmm. <laughs> Somehow got so sidetracked. I never even made it here. Okay. I got extremely sidetracked. But we made a few more captures. And so I'd say that is a job well done. We got a new party member. We figured out a potentially broken insta-kill strategy if I could, I could get it to work consistently. But what I'll probably do is go through the team here, look at all the moves they have, see who, who else I can get that has an air type move. Oh, right, I have Tokusek. So what I could do is get Tokusek in the team swap it in the team, have the mushroom set up the resonance trap with glass, bring in this guy, and then both spam air type attacks to really quickly spam this. Okay. That is gonna be the plan. I'll lab it out some more, but that's gonna be the plan. Oh, uh, no, not right now. I'm trying to cook with this mushroom right here. Is there anything else I would want? You know, this... Fusili instantly fills your fusion meter. How nice. Wait, that's pretty expensive. I'll save that. Buy more tapes. Oh, right. High efficiency rate tapes is pretty nice, but I'm gonna... I have to. I'm fine. I am, I am okay, quite good. Okay, that was perfect. I am so excited to try that. I'll try and find, next episode I'll try and find an Archangel or some kind of big boss and really try and get the resonance trick to work with Tokusek. That's gonna be really fun. So thank you so much for watching. I'm glad you're enjoying Cassette Beast if you're still here. Uh, and goodbye.